right, we've made it to Morro Rock. We're in Morro Bay right now. Um, it was a long drive. It's about 8.30 in the morning. And we drove, we started driving at three in the morning. So it's what, four and a half hours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Maybe five. five. Yeah, we're gonna check out this spot over here and see if we can find any uh, sea otters. And it looks like there's elephant seals over there, babe, or something big. Yeah, there's. Those are elephant seals, I'm pretty sure. And we're gonna we're gonna bust out the binocs and see what we can see. We'll show you around. spotted our first wild sea otters. The cutest thing ever. There's two of them. Literally uh, right over here. See them behind They're us. Just laying down, sleeping. Resting, Resting, waiting to go kill some sea urchins. Yeah. Um, they use the kelp as an anchor so they don't float around yep. into the rocks. That's so cool. But we're gonna continue looking for some more and See what else is around this giant Moro rock. And uh, eventually we'll make our way to the beach and get a nice view of the giant rock from the beach. So. Oh, it's a sea lion. hours or so, maybe three. All the way from Monterey. It does? 
be there by the third. Feeding. I call you from the interstate. And try to find the words. I say more in the pauses it now. Kind of and hear more in the rest. All these lines are crossing up Is anybody's guess All the way from Monterey It's either swim or sink Way out past the bottleneck Okay, we finished our Monterey trip. Day one. What, uh, where are we gonna go now? What are we doing? We're gonna have dinner at Zap Zap Thai Cuisine. And we walked half a mile to get here, so hopefully it's nice and warm. Really Otherwise, I'll have to do some jumping jacks to stay warm. They have heaters too, if anything. Uh, yeah, hopefully we sit inside. Uh, we, if we come down with an illness in two to three days, we know why. <laughs> We were packed into this small aquarium space with a bunch of children. So hopefully we're, we're healthy, but we're gonna try this out and uh, hopefully stay warm. We'll meet you guys back at the car tomorrow or whatever. That's probably it for today, honestly. All right, adios. All right, day two, Monterey. We're in Point Lobos over near Carmel Valley. And uh, we're gonna do a hike around the point there's quite a few coves and beautiful things to see. Um, so far we've gotten really lucky and we saw um, what we believe to be orcas off the coast. I got a little video of that, so. I don't know, we're not 100% sure, but we're like 90% sure just on the way they're surfacing in their, their, their um, back fin, like what it looks like. But, babe, what did you think they were? I she kept saying dolphins. I'm like, yo, dolphins some do not that have. Like dolphins, and then there were definitely some that looked like orcas. So I don't know. I think it was a combination of those. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. So, but then um, I think China Cove is probably one of the, the highlights of the Cove experience. So we'll try to make it there. Tide's coming in. Maybe we won't be able to walk down onto the onto the beach. But hey, you know, Nicole said that. She'd be willing to get her feet wet, right? <laughs> what did I say? You're gonna get your feet wet? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Maybe. All right, we'll show you around. Should be fun. See, that's why I think we care about those pilot whales. You see how they're coming up with a really long
you think Point Lobos is going to be the next uh, Apple operating system? <laughs> Dang. Oh Thank you, COVID, for giving me that cough. Hey, maybe. Yeah. Would be a very nice cover. What do you think about the park so, so far? Uh, the park is super nice. It was a little cloudy and cold this morning, but when we first got here, but now it's the sun's coming out, it's clearing up, and it's just it's amazing. Yeah, what's been your favorite cove? Do you remember the name? Is it called China Cove? China Cove. Nice. I should have the pole right on here. I think my sunglasses will work.
by the sea. That's right. Let's do like dark chocolate, please. Dark chocolate and almond bark? That looks really good, actually. You can get that one. I want some caramel in the middle. We just bought some chocolates and, you know, went into the historic cottage to buy them. We have about $17 worth of chocolates because shit is expensive here. But hey, you know. A lot of it is imported, supposedly. Yeah, I mean, it imported. definitely looked pretty in interesting. Like, I feel like I was on an English uh candy trip in there you know potentially in hogwarts but yeah we're gonna walk down to the beach now and see a sunset we've just been exploring carmel by the sea and having a really good time Watch the sunset. Um, beach is pretty beautiful, very white, and sandy, and the views are epic. These people behind us have ridiculous big houses on the water. But yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna sit down, enjoy our expensive chocolates. Just look at this view, man. Excuse me. We have a pretty big stretch of the beach behind me. We were hiking over there earlier today. We're in Lobos. Lobos? Lobos, something like that. Should be a fun little sunset. starting the Big Sur or what is it called the US-1 drive over here in Cali? CA-1. Yeah, CA-1, whatever. Don't mix that up with USA-1A, which is <laughs> over in Miami. <laughs> anyway, here's the first few. It's nice and early and cold out there. On the Pacific Coast Highway.
gearing up. We're about to head out on this river gorge trail. We are in Big Sur, Pfeiffer State Park, something like that. Pfeiffer's, so many Pfeiffer's and Big Sur's out here. But yeah, it's about 0.6 miles there and 0.6 miles back, so it's like one mile. Um, follows a river bed, so should be nice to see some water, seeing as we're from SoCal and we don't see water that often. But this forest is very dense, very pretty. Uh, there's redwoods in here. And um, yeah, we're gonna go on a little hike. It's gonna be fun. I'll take you along with us. Alright, Nicole is not gonna go swimming with me. But uh whew, I went on a nice swim. It's you know a solid 45 degrees right now. Uh, the rocks are kinda cold. Yeah, it was nice. Swam over here in honor of Michael and Gregor, who are not here with me, they're in Florida, but hey, had to get in. Now I'm free pretty cold, but I'll warm up, gotta hike back to the car now. Salmon Creek Trail, looking for the waterfall. I can see it over here, babe. Yeah. We're almost there. Go up this way to the right. Kind of have to scatter around some rocks to locate it, but I think we found it. I'll show you guys the main waterfall here.
I already made it to the waterfall. Like an overlook. It's pretty nice. Both rolling cascade uh, waterfall here. It was a challenge to find it. We had to like scurry through like random shit, random rocks, all this stuff behind me. And we ended up figuring it out, so. It took a minute though. There is no defined trail to our location here. Kinda just made one up. But totally worth it, really nice. Alright, we made it to the elephant seal vista point, and this will be our very first time ever seeing elephant seals in the wild. So we're There's pretty stoked. These are like very, very massive, fat seals. So, looking forward to it. Yes. We'll show you, we'll show you some cute some elephant nice, seals. Nice photos. Yes, we will. something new. A lot of times I can't sleep because I can't wait to try something new. And how many people never really experienced that feeling? And that's why I escaped.